in this video we are going to go inside of my installed stout tent take a look at some of my decorating ideas okay so my husband and I have spent the last two weekends out here in the bell tent and so we've pretty much figured out all of the things that are needed um, I've cleaned it up so we're gonna go inside um, here's the inside now so the first thing that I want to point out are these cute little nightstands that I use I like these nightstands I found them at Ikea they were on clearance for five dollars I bought two of them one of the things that I do have to change with this nightstand even though I had planned on building my own is the top um, with this being a circle I just feel like everything should be in a circle so I'll be placing another top on top of that. And then if I feel like changing the color, I'll spray paint it. But I think I want to keep the circles going instead of the squares. Um, just seems like inside of the circle, it just rolls better to me. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. What do you guys think? Um, I have these nice little blankets, throw blankets everywhere that I found. Um, I even have live plants, which of course I will keep my live plants. Now, one of the things that we, that I found was this blow-up um, chair, and it has an ottoman that goes to it. Here's the ottoman. Um, this is something that I do want to keep in here. The thing about this chair is that it's blow-up, and I don't want anything blow-up. So, what I'm going to try to do is open this baby up. I'm going to fill it with um, either shredded foam or beanbag material. And close it back up then I'm gonna sew a cover that goes over that that way I'll be able to take the cover off to clean it but then the underside will still be this material that was from the original blow-up furniture which I can wipe down and hose down allowing me to clean it also we're gonna see how that goes I'll turn that into a project these little small stool right here um, I like those next to my ground items because it gives you a place to set something down. It's just that it's padded. So I'm going to find a circle tray to go on top of that to make sure it's stable. The other thing is the legs on this piece. As soon as you sit down or use this, these legs just bend any old wear. Because um, they're only held in by some staples. That's it. So I'm going to remove that buy some hardware and reattach these legs so that they don't do that but then other than that it makes a nice little small ground end table um i bought this at a garage sale the other day and it is a battery powered motion activated light and when it's on auto and you move the light comes on and it's a nice little amount of light in here i am obsessed with this little thing and i gotta find out I'm going to search the company name to find another one because I really like this light. And this is just one of those, um, I don't know what they call it, little smelly mister things. It's one of the things that we know you need in your tent is you need a fan and you need a heater. These two won't stay, but it's what we use. I'll have to find another fan that sits lower, but it's still on this um, cylinder type. It doesn't need to be up that high. Actually, if I can get it lower than that it'll fit when we when you're done with it you can easily tuck it away the little circle fan was okay but it was just way too small and i need something that'll rotate back and forth the heater let's freeze right here on this heater one of the things that i will be adding is a wood burning stove while we will offer the electric heater as an option um, for the colder months if a client wants to use the tent there will also be the wood burning stove just wanted you guys to know that here um same thing I, I know we used to have one before that was shaped like the fan so i try to find those something that was an absolute must in here is this little power bank thing that i bought um, i ordered this on amazon and it has three plugs and then it has two usbs here this and the cord actually wraps up when you're not using it but this little power square thing these over here that's just a bean bag that i bought at a garage sale it won't stay in here um the baskets will definitely stay i need more baskets but i also need places to put them 
these big babies right here, let me show them to you. They are, that is a twin size mattress. Um, and I had these super large Big Joe um, covers that I guess went on to, for you to stuff a beanbag, you know, stuff a Big big Joe beanbag with. I, I looked at the size of them. I had a twin memory foam mattress. I took that twin memory foam mattress. I cut it in half. And I put each side into it. Now, you know the Big Joe only has this little small zipper spot here. Well, of course, you can't fit it inside of there. So, I opened it up. I opened up the entire Big Joe cover here on the end that I'm going to sew back, put my own zippers on it. I'm going to put a double zipper on it like they do so that one zips one way and one zips the other. And then what I'm going to do is take that twin memory foam mattress that I've cut into two and I'm going to shred it up so that that is filled with shred. And again, it won't be a square. It will pretty much just foam you know, follow a form of its own that way. Maybe even pull those corners in and soften it while I'm doing all that sewing. All I have to do is turn it inside out, pull those corners in, and then they won't exist anymore. But this right here was, it's, I have a live plant hanging on my pole and I bought different little lights, trying them out. And it gives you a lot of light. The only problem is the other one that I bought is still on from last night. Um, I don't know what happened to it. It won't turn off. Just something's wrong with the button. So I'm going to take that one, take them both back, and then buy another set. Um, not keeping something that's not going to work for me. Um, that ottoman that goes to the chair, same thing. I'm going to bust that open, fill it in with beanbag or with shredded foam, and then I'm going to close it back up. Then I'm going to make a cover to go on the outside of it. Again, it's easier for me to wash that way. Um, the bed... I'm still waiting on my memory foam mattress to come. This is just a blow-up mattress, which will not be featured um, in my glamp. But my blow-up mattress is super large, so it has this bottom part, and then it has the top part, so that when it did sit down on the ground, you weren't on the ground. But one thing I can tell you is the blow-up mattress is okay, but it's just not comfortable, and it won't fit for glamping. Not for me. Not for what I'm trying to sell. This uh, coffee table that I have at the end of the bed. So this belongs outside with my uh, furniture. I needed something in here to set stuff down on. So I bought that in. I like it being there. I was trying to find something to go at the end of the bed for the pole and for extra space to do things in. So it works. The only problem is this is my furniture. It's a glass top. And again, we got those corners. So trying to get from one space to the other, hitting that corner. I did that about three or four times. So it definitely has to come out of here. Now, what my idea is for this was I looked at a foot locker and a foot locker. I, I thought, well, if I use a foot locker, decorate the outside of it, it could be seating. And then when I get ready to come and pack you up, I can basically take the things that are in here and pack it into the foot locker. But when it's unpacked, it's just the foot locker. And since the clients are at their homes, there isn't much that they'll need to use the foot locker for. So I'm trying to find something that they can use once I unpack the stuff out of. And what I came up with is styrofoam coolers, the ones they send your medicine in. I got two of those that are really big. They are oval shapes on the end, so there's no corners on them. And it's styrofoam. The I will make two if not three um, ottomans out of those all of those the tops come off and then on the underside you'd be able to set stuff on and it's styrofoam but the main thing is that when I have unpacked the things inside of the glamp for the customer the customer can then use those styrofoam coolers to put their drinks in or whatever they need while they're inside of the tent you know for the night or while they're back and forth and because they're styrofoam it will keep items cold because it's a styrofoam cooler, but it also makes two uses. It's not just for me to use and then just to be pretty while it's in their use. It will actually function for them. Now, this bed is on a frame, even though it's a blow-up mattress. And so under here, of course, there is plenty of room for storage. 
which means anything that I have to unpack, um, I can easily push things under the bed out of the way. And that way the floor will be open. Basically the setup that I'm going to go with. There will be a set of huge um, bean bag-ish pieces here that will be two so that you can use it um, to turn into a bed. So maybe like a floor bed kind of thing or you can just use it for extra seating. We're going to use the styrofoam coolers here, two or three. We'll have this chair or some form of this chair. Um, basically as another one person large seating that chair was comfortable I just didn't like that it was blow up so I think once we do a little changes to that um, hopefully it makes it through my construction uh, of tearing it apart and putting it back together to see but if not I'll find something else or even go and buy one that's actually in that shape or if I have to I'll take this entire thing apart and um, create a pattern out of it you know I'm sure they sell a pattern to it too but it's so it's not a problem but I do like this rounded shape that it is it was really easy moving around in here we have all of the rugs covering the floor one of the things that I probably won't do is these extra color rugs I think that with these rag rugs in all the colors that's enough color in here so that I can go with something like this beige or even the other side I have this black like um in beige rug down I could even go with that one yeah, but not the blue one and not the pink one we're going with the ottomans we're going to change the table and then of course it's the bed uh the blow-up mattress is going to go the queen memory foam mattress is going to come the bedding that's on here is not going to be there we will be using all white crisp the, the hotel collection style on it to get it all nice and we want you to I want you to have that hotel bed feeling. So the big question is, Fran, why did you buy a stout tent, unbox it, install it, and decorate it? Well if you follow me over to part five, you'll be able to see the new business that I pivoted into. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post my next video. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. Did you hit the bell yet? Thanks for watching Fran at Officially Fran.